Leeds Fest is the big one. The main event of the year. And if you haven't learnt that by now, welcome to the party. to get some beers and I'm dressed in my festival garms. <laughs> Didn't really think I'd be ever getting the bat out in the after <laughs> but here we go. First drink at festival and we're not even left Leeds yet. Yeah, baby! Well, we're not going to leave Leeds. Yeah, but you know, we're like the, like the city centre bit, like, shut up. Yeah, baby! You can't park there, sir! This is what you get with MB navigation. You get to pull up first, two hours early. So boys all went wrong way. Typical Kellis. Because we're good guys, me and Dan. We're going to have the old buds ready for them. So when they get here, we'll get the old bridey bar open. Get the up front. Get this back door open. There's men in here who need drinks. <laughs> We've already got some drinks, right, last Thank you. you. Please, yeah. sir, one for me. Okay. <laughs> Heineken's are taped up. I know everyone's moaning that Bridie's not in the videos very often. But he's literally like my brother, and I ain't seen you now since 2000 Trees. It's, it's, great, to, it's yeah. great to see you again in the flesh, it's been mate. a long time, Opening mate. his first beer. That's Cheers, my mate. Cheers. I've got a little gift for you. For me? Yeah. Oh. So a band stepped up this weekend, aren't they? Yeah. Because one stepped down. And I know you're a big, big fan of that band. So I've got you a 1975 <laughs> lighter to wave at their little, their little gig, mate. You can even get it up. Get a little tampon on and start doing <laughs> Thank it. Thank you, mate. Cheers. I appreciate Just that. Just for you. Didn't I give you this? How are you doing? No, I'm not bad, sir. I'm ready to party. Brought the ready bag. Oh. It's upside down, but ignore that. All right, a couple of speed bumps, but not many. We're here, we're set up. What time is it? There's a reason why I always wear dark clothes. Because you're bent. He can say that, to be fair. He is allowed to say that. Okay, there's a reason why I always wear dark clothes. It's because I spill shit and I just spilt the dark fruits all over the red burger. Rob, can I have a new one? No, nope, they're limited edition, mate. But Even I, for you. But I spilled it, did it? Well, you shouldn't be a fucking idiot then, should you? Ben! Good afternoon! Yeah. You set up? Been set up for ages, mate. Sorry, I can't see you because there's an idiot stood in the way of the shop. Just gonna have a drink of what? Chrissy! I'm Chris. Having your first drink? This is my first drink. First and last day in one can. Hey. Oh, what? Oh. The Ambinex is warm. Pull your corners up, lads. Where's this gazebo from, Raz? Uh, this is from Wayfair. What's Wayfair? Uh, it's a website. Oh, cool. We've also got sides for it. How much was it? Yeah. 150, small app. As you know, me, Rob, Vols, and Raz, we had these sick as fuck diamond Minecraft inflatable swords from uh, Rock, Rock for People. Two of the boys lost theirs as I left them. Me and Rob were the only ones who had ours left. Until 2000 Trees, where Matty Bridie threw mine into the crowd, and I weren't happy, I weren't, so I was like, right, I need an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, baby! Can't wait to, for that to go up against everyone's head when we're at the fucking DJ set. Can you turn that down? No, it doesn't have a volume button. This is Bob Kellis. It's a boomerang. Definitely ain't coming back. <laughs> Carly! Cats! What's going on here? Just, uh, just setting up the Hunger Games yeah. over here, lads. Yeah. Don't worry. You're always hungry. <laughs> this shit writes itself. Oh, it does. It's too easy. Anyway, mate, what we're going to do is have a couple of games of badminton. Lose us to net pipe. Grealish. Yo, Spack Grealish! <laughs> oh, it's a blind leading the blindness. <laughs> Double TPD award champ and badminton king. Yeah. Robert to serve. Point to Massey Bridie. A clean camp, a happy campaign. You know by now, TPD is very inclusive. So what we've done this year is we've managed to improve the female experience. So if you come with me, I'll show you how a problem has just been resolved. You know that problem of like, oh, I'm a female, but I need a piss, but I don't want to walk all the way over there to go for a piss. Well, let me introduce to you the ensuite toilet of the camp. It's got a lot of VWs on it, so it's nice. Lovely experience. Official merchandise. Yeah, it really is. I bet you're just thinking that's just a little bucket. Absolutely not. 
It's got a little toilet seat in there. I know what you're thinking, like you're anxious, you're taking a piss outdoors as a female. What could relax you more? Have a little laugh as well while you're wiping your puss. What do you call just married spiders? Newly webs. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we're thrilled to let you know that this video is once again sponsored by our good friends at Fat Frank's Camping Shop. Click and Collect is free, easy and convenient and promotes car share to make it easier for people that might be flying in from abroad. Look, don't bring all your shit here, people carrying all it on their back. Just click and collect it. Literally, order it, collect it on the day, no problem. You don't have to sweat your bollocks off like I do bringing it in. They've got good quality tents and equipment that is made to last, so after the festival, you can just take it home with you. If you use the click and collect, it's cheaper than buying on site, so make sure you do that. So you can go get an airbed, ready inflated for you, or you can take your own, get yours inflated as well. Nice and easy. Hey, everybody loves a free blow job. The click and collect cuts off the Sunday before each festival, so make sure you get your orders in before that Sunday. They're going to be at Leeds Fest next year. You need to use them. We love them. We've got a lot of time for them. They also do these festivals on screen right now. We've got a lot of our stuff this year for them, and if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't really be able to camp as comfortably as we have been doing. So thank you, Frank, for sponsoring the video. Use the code in the description on the screen right now to get a special discount on your order. Thanks, Frank. We've got a lot of the ladies here ready for a piss. I'm just gonna wipe the piss off the seat. Who's going first, ladies? I'll go first. As long as nobody looks at my poo nanny. Literally every week since last year, I've been thinking about the cheese toasted place that was in guest because it was so fucking good like every morning. It's not here this year. This year it's just a smokehouse barbecue meats and loaded fries place. Now, don't get me wrong, it looks pretty good and looks like it's gonna fill me up, but I did want a cheese toast. I was really looking forward to it. Right yeah. yeah. then folks, so as you know we have to camp in guest now and we've had a bit of fun but it's been pretty dead. So thankfully our friends in regular camping have invited us over for a bit of a party and that's where it's gonna get turned up. I mean look at this place, is this Leeds Fest or what man? This camp is dead as fuck. I know it's day one but look how uh, look how nice these toilets are. All the lads before we go on and hang out <laughs> have to douse <laughs> themselves in David Beckham. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes, come on. So lads, get your scent out, get yourself ready, and get the old David Beckham under the armpits. Get some yeah. David Beckham. Me and your gal M. We're going up to Orange. We're going to chill in Orange. We're going to find Emerson. Different M. Uh, and we're just going to chill and get fucked, mate. We've got some strong vodka. And we're going to have a good time, aren't we, Em? Woo! Em's got a new job, man, so we're celebrating in style. <laughs> Fuck all the haters, man. The haters do what they want. What's up? Well, came to Orange to see the famous two trees where we've literally we've grown up camping. And here's the first tree in all its glory. But look at, like, look, this is literally the second... Like, we literally camped there. Bride is wandering through their what camp the there. I don't know why we're not camped in here, mate. This is the campsite. Orange is the best campsite in the fucking place, man. And we're camped out and guess what? It's dead as fuck, man. I've got to deal with Ben's jokes and that. I'd rather just be in here just Not meeting people. Not all my people. jokes, mate. Oh, they're dead. Not all my jokes. They're dead, mate, like Rob's dad. What is it? It's a Bob Ross energy drink. Where the fuck are you? From Vegas. From Vegas? How long have you had it? <laughs> this man right here, yeah? Do you want to know a story? It's their first time meeting in person. Second. You know what's mad? Me and Emerson played on GTA 5 online during lockdown, yeah? And I've met this man in real life. He's the soundest fucker in the world. If I hear anybody disrespect this man, yeah, I'm gonna send Razzy after him. And you better hope you don't have a young. How's your tent? So, so like, this is my home for the weekend. Oh wow, man! It's looking, it's looking good. Oh my god! Osama bin Laden. The fucking when he was hiding. <laughs> Lived better than that. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kane, and welcome to the best camp at Leeds 222. 
<laughs> Seven thousand. Yo, we got that RGB rate. Scott, what is it? Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Check out this vape, right? Look what it does when you have a drag. Luke Skywalker. It's the cloak. How is it? How is this man can just speak to anyone and charm him enough just to go sit in the campsite? Just sat there having a chat as if he's known him for about five years, man. He's like, yeah, oh, look, you're funny, you, you're funny. Come for a communal piss with the other boys. Hello, I found my looks coming up. <laughs> I've just announced something that, that may or may not happen, depends how we feel. But I've just decided we're having a big meal in Piccadilly in 50 minutes. Just because I'm bored. Because I have to hang out with Paul and Emerson. It's like having worse two twins on either shoulder. So we'll see if we uh, see if we end up down there or not. We might do. Right. I lost my phone in the toilet about an hour ago. I only just realised and these lovely people handed it into security. <laughs> Legends, man. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Night. Oh, Raz! Okay. Raz, it's got... You're a fucking savior. Wait, how did Raz get it before you? How did you get it? Because it was over there. This is the monumental occasion. The moment you've all been waiting for. The moment we've all been waiting for. We're going to walk over Orange Hill. Shut up, you. You know, we're going over Orange Hill. This is the best place to be in Leeds Fest. It's Orange Hill. It's like one... <laughs> One of the best places to be. There's four missing. Thanks for that, Vals. Just a £96 round. Yeah. You know how it is. It's got to be done, on it? Literally just bought a crate there at the bar. Hey, Chris, you yeah, got what? You've got one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake, you got Jake. You got uh, how many? Uh, just, just the sixteen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Welcome to Leeds Fest Camp. I don't know what I meant to do. I've only took a drink. I don't, I don't want to drink anything. We got the Nintendo DS this evening. The SI, ah, man. The SI. Man's been to fucking Oxfam shop and not even cut tag off. How low can you get? Blue's gonna down his drink tonight. Oh. We like to drink with Blue. Blue, you've done it, brother. You've done it. How's it feel? Um, I'd like to thank uh, my parents for this opportunity. <laughs> it's a GoPro Hero 9. I don't know. I'll be recording Piccadilly tomorrow. I'll be telling my mum and dad about it. I don't usually talk about burgers at festivals because they're usually shit. But what was the name of that burger place, Chris? Oh, no, I can't remember. This is stunningly beautiful. You know what? I want to know your good. secrets and I want you to give me more of it. Well, gang, the meetup's been good. Hopefully, we've filmed something on the Wednesday. But just remember if we haven't filmed much, it means we're having a better time in the moment. We've come in for a midnight snack. I'm hungry, I want a meal deal. I want a meal deal too. We're in the co-op, we're gonna get a meal deal. I'm looking over there and it doesn't look like a good sandwich selection. Nah, I don't believe you, man. I realise what it looks like. Let me give you some context. So everyone's gone to bed, right? Yeah. And uh, we were looking what at Rob's tent, this? and we think Rob's in his tent. But we know Rob's in his tent. Do you know how we know Rob's in his tent? Because here's his this. nose. Here's nose the tip there. of his nose right here. Oh, yeah. Like, you can see the tip. God, right you can rub there. it there. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh. Didi, do not touch this red button. <laughs> Have you ever been in this tent at four in the morning, fast yeah. asleep, yeah. and someone's accidentally pressed that button? No. That's weird that you've never experienced that. Up. Let's just leave. Let's just leave the tent alone. Tarantula. Good morning, campers. How are we feeling this morning? Now this is weird because this is like the first morning we've woken up and it's fucking cold. Like I'm freezing right now. Yeah. We're gonna go for a shower to warm up though. Hey, look forward to your shower, Brady. Yeah, Brady. I don't know if you heard, but we do have some bad news. Come. Got a message this morning. Yep. Obviously we've got Piccadilly tonight. Yeah, we have a Big wait. one. Yeah, yeah. Massive one. We've got a lot planned. Bang. No microphone. Sick. Oh, that's all right, because it keeps Keller's quiet. <laughs> Instead of, put the lights up. <laughs> lights don't go up. S saves all the no, crowd no, no, no. here in uh, Captain Crease completely out of time. You right, Vals? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Do you need off from car, Vals? Yeah, um... Oh, you cunt. No, I'm all right for the moment. Skeletor, do you need a full car? I know, there's no one in there for me, mate. Well, it's Thursday morning. It's raining. Nathan's doing the Lord's work there, tidying up. It's raining, it's pouring. Nathan's boring. This is dead as fuck, man. 
Well, we're chilling. You know what, man? We're vibing in it. This is what almost the lead is. The lead is about. Like, just chill with your mates, have a good time. Get that out of here, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of it, man. Put that back. Dad! Have a look. Have a look in it. Have a look in it. Look, look, look. That's Mary's chub in a bag. Get that to NC500. Yeah. That's a chemical attack, that, yeah, that's yeah. just happened. She wants it back. Oh, here's something mad. Yesterday, met a lad at the box office who had guest list access oh, because yeah. last year someone wasn't very nice to him, gave him a free ticket, and, and apparently he got he, apparently he got more than a six-figure settlement. <coughs> it's me. Uh, my first time ever getting rid of a bag of sick. It's weird. It's just like goo and jelly and. Fucking Bradley. Listen, mate. I've been camping a long time, and sometimes just when your creature comforts, your home comforts. So we're rocking, bit of fibre in, brown flakes, beautiful. Name. Don't get the bone brand one. The shit. Get the Kellogg's. What you got for breakfast? Snacker jacks. Big bag of beef jerky. Oh, oh, bro. Bro. Here it comes the aeroplane. Mm -hmm. Eat it all, or you get no pudding. <laughs> Not bad that, a little bacon and egg bat. Could do with some ketchup, but other than that, it looks grand. Nice fat bacon. How much for that? Uh, I can't remember actually. About seven quid. Oh, but naughty. Yeah. Seven fifty. Not seven bad. pound fifty for bacon and egg sarnie, bat, whatever you want to call it. I'll tell you what, even the guest isn't really our vibe. And there's a lot that we prefer about general camping. Um, you can't argue with the convenience. We're parked, we're camped next to where we're parked. And I had a shower and a pleasant shit this morning. And I think I can recommend guest camping to like 90% of people. Um, if you can get it as a paid upgrade, you should probably do that. Boring. Fuck. Boring. Folks, we. Folks. <laughs> it's Fox. inclusive. It's inclusive. Fox. Everybody. And here we hear the sounds of a venomous snake. Mary, are you decent in there? <laughs> Mary, have you got your clothes on? No wonder you'd be sick. There's a load of Mawams in here. <laughs> the man broke, the man here joke. It couldn't be more true. Yeah, about you. Man's, in, man's here in Uniqlo coat. Yeah, man's in the intel and owns a fucking Mac, man. Fake. Fake human being. You, like everything about your bar, you know is fake, man. But that shit's real. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> Not great. Get them speeds, man. Oh. A festival. <laughs> So there's a new licensing issue at Reading and Leeds this year, uh, which is no microphones allowed after 11 p.m. And our Piccadilly set is very heavily reliant on a microphone. It makes literally no sense, but we're working around it. So we're off to the van to pre-record some crowd work uh, so we can play it during the set. This is so dumb that we have to do this. Good evening, Piccadilly! We are TPD TV. We are so fucking pleased to be back. We hope you're ready for a dance. We got one question for you tonight. Are you mine, baby? TPD TV. There's a loudness option. We are TPD TV. Good evening, Piccadilly. This is so dumb. We are TPD TV. Make some fucking noise! Can I get a whoop whoop? I need you to be louder! Leeds, it's me, the big MB, Matt Bridey. Few issues, we've got no mic tonight due to sound. Oh no, it's not that, is it? No mic, no problem. We're TPD TV and the party goes on. Leeds, it's MC, MB. Push it back! Leeds, I wanna see a fucking pit open up right now. Tall. Grande, Venti, Leeds Festival, have you still got some fucking energy? Energy crew! Fuck Redding, fuck Redding. So after three, let's all do it together. One, two, three. Mary, it's 20 past three and we're only just seeing you. What's happened? I've had an awful morning. Um, thanks so much to you, Dan, because you really helped me out. 
Thank you so much, Leeds. Big up Danny Oliver and the Piccadilly team. We love you. I'm sure we'll see you again. Have a good rest of your night. Right, now that bollocks is done, let's see what these boys are up to here. I think they look all right, you know. They're not not really the Metallica ones that we were promised. No. I've been in there. I'm not out. No? Just the line down suggests otherwise, sir. So. Ten minute warning for the fat boy and the googly eyed scrawny long neck boy in the corner. Ten minutes until the arena opens. Folks, we're headed into the arena. It's Thursday, the arena's about to open. It's near enough 5 pm. Arena opening time. We're gonna go into the arena, check out what's going on in the arena. Um, so we're almost here now at the arena and we're going to go into the arena see what's going on in the arena. Are we, yeah, what, are we off to the arena? It's been a long time since we've been into the arena at five o'clock. I've not been to the arena this early since um, whenever the last time we did it was. Right, here we are. I think we're the, literally the first people in here, aside from them two people over there. What? What about them two people? Ignore <laughs> them. Down here? Nah, you can't see them. Coffee. Coffee. Yes, here we fucking go. And there she is, the main stage. That might be the stage we see the 1975 on. Probably not, I think they're on the other one, but here we are. I'll tell you what, been at a lot of festivals this year. Uh, it's in a lot of cool places, it's in a lot of cool things, but nothing will ever be seeing that main stage. And then that main stage as well. Leeds Fest is fucking great, man. We're going on this big fucking sky swing because we love rides and we need that burst of energy for tonight. So what better way than getting on this bad boy? So while everyone's enjoying these really tall rides, Ben, Chris, MB, and me, we're a bit scared of ice, so we're not going up. They're deader than Rob's Jordans, I'm not saying so. I'm deader than your boat, Dad. <laughs> and yours as well. And mine as well. Shit, <laughs> dead shoes. It's hard to convey just how high up this is, but it's fucking scary. So we'll come back to this Nordic spirit thing to do those pouches again because everyone said we did it wrong and we just chewed on them, which was dead shit. You're supposed to put them up, you got them like that, and then, as Rob would say, it mashes you up. It mashed me up last night, mate. Let's get in here. I got you on, brother. Remember, boys, what happens at Brahman Park stays in Brahman Park. Are we getting this? Well, we're putting this straight up, gum. straight up, gum, yeah, yeah, like on top of it. Put it on. <laughs> well, I this is, it's not hot. very comfortable. No. This is burning, you know. Yeah, mm. same. I don't get this. Ah. It's fucking dreadful. Just it's have a bad, cigarette. Yeah. Oh, it's going out as well. Me and Jake are going to go over to the merch as usual. What are you hoping to get this year, mate? Well, that one there. You see that one there? Yeah. Oh. Well, I did it. I got some merch and I also got some oh, socks man, as well. We've all got them same socks, Yeah, man. but they're great socks. Oh. You copied me with the Coachella socks. Everyone... Hey, guess what, guys? I've been to Coachella. What are you looking for, mate? Trying to find something to freshen up for our Piccadilly tonight. Because this isn't quite obnoxious enough for my life. Oh, oh, what a sad old Machine man. gun dickhead over here. Excuse me. I've been in the arena for 10 minutes. Already bought two hats. I don't even wear hats. Oh, the old Gypsy King, my man. This is what happens. I'll do it for 500 million. Tell him, won't it? That'll, that'll show him. Stop the war. She's bought a bucket hat. They couldn't have put it in white text, could they? Right then, folks. We're visiting the bar for the first time in the arena. And I'm a little bit anxious because I've just been given the instruction by Matthew Brady over there that it's a 14-person round. So is this going to be the most expensive round we ever buy? Find out in a sec. Can you believe it? Went to the bar. That's for 14 double vodka Red Bulls. Number one. They don't do doubles. Number two, can't serve 14 drinks to one man. Number three, they asked me, me, if I got my ID. I politely moved out of the way and I've now got my Vodka Rebel. They're all on the way, by the way, just through many different channels. Excited. My second ever festival fish and chips. How much was this, Val? So this quid? was fourteen pound. No. I can see how they've afforded the Ferrari. Uh, do you know what? It does make sense. Initially, looks good. It's a good sized piece of fish, that's for sure. It is, isn't it? Um, chips looks like maybe doing with a bit longer, but do you know what? Yeah. It doesn't look too bad. So we've come to the little food vendor area near Guest Camp, 
and what's different this year is they've got their own DJ and it's kind of popping off while I'm waiting for this hot dog. Danny's just been sick all over the ground. And now he's having a, now he's having a nap in his tent. Chewy! Look at that! He's had to fit seven people in a five seater van. Daddy. How are we doing? Right, can we get a, no. have we got a cover? Let's this cover. Is what give makes... us the banana back here. What do you mean, give us it? Won't move. <laughs> this is what makes brothers brothers. Ah! <laughs> It's cool, isn't it? It never gets fucking old. Oh, Slide that door open, wow. So, I've got a lot of inflatables for tonight, just to throw into the crowd, give it a bit more of a party atmosphere. But guess what? Here's the non rock and roll side of it all. I'm having to blow the fucking cunts up. Do you think Muse bought their own balloons like this before show? Sure. We got 500 of these balloons to blow up, man. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna be knackered. There is a huge team effort behind tonight's TPD TV Piccadilly DJ set. We've got everyone blowing shit up, ready to throw in the crowd. It's gonna be excellent. Hello. Hello. Where do you want me? Oh, is that powered by fan? Yeah. We've got a battery pump as well. We've got a production line going on. Everyone's doing a great job. Well done. We blow these up and Chris ties them in it. So Chris, here's the oh, Chris. You know what we should do? Go on. We should go to Pat Frank's free blow job. Yeah. Uh, Hannah, I see. I, I can see that you don't have a, a balloon in your mouth. My my nails are really sharp and I will break them. Well, as we sit here at Piccadilly, thought it's going to be the biggest crowd we probably ever see this side of a barrier. Um, I just want to say thanks again. You've heard it a million times. You know the point I'm making. Thanks very much. If it weren't for you lot, we won't be here. I've seen a lot of you in the merch this weekend. And um, yeah, if it weren't for you, we, we are only, we, we are you. Without you, we're not here. You know what I mean? Let's rock and roll. What's up, Dan? Too many balloons. Feeling good, gentlemen? I'm feeling yeah. ready to roll, I feel, I feel very good. We're getting pumped, the crowd looks big. It's, it's a good vibe, good. isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. It's a very good vibe this here tonight. It's always a great vibe. We're going to bring a great fucking party tonight. We've got a few <laughs> tricks to pass. These so people aren't going to know what hits them yeah. after all this EDM yeah. when <laughs> Arctic Monkeys comes on. EDM is surely for a Yeah, is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's to trigger that commenter. Yeah, true. It's Dua Lipa is EDM. Good evening, Piccadilly. We are TPD TV. We are so fucking pleased to be back. We got one question for you tonight.
One, two, three. Fuck Redding! Fuck Redding! Fuck Redding! Festival of the Kabuli 2022. We have had so much fun tonight. We hope you have had a good time. And you are excited for the Arctic Monkeys. Go be the horizon. And the Monkey Monkey is going be fun. Just wanted to say a big old fucking thanks to Sam. He's a truly <laughs> fucking top guy. Best photographer that we know, I reckon. He genuinely is great. That's, that's a lie. Everyone, give Sam a follow on Insta. He's absolutely. a fucking legend, and we absolutely love you, Sam. Thank you so oh, much. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Genuinely, you. very appreciated. Sweet as. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking into the sun. <laughs> Chicken and chips, chicken and chips. Come on, Raquel, get it up. Come on, Raquel, on his van. Don't be sick into your arm. We're up now. <laughs> what are you saying, Rosie? Be sick on camera. Come on, go move. Do you want me to do fingers for you? <laughs> I can do it. Oh, sorry. So, we had a big night tonight. We're getting a pepperoni pizza no, this evening. I'm after the burger. And it's the most expensive one this season at 16 quid. Right. 16 quid. What does that get us? Officially the United Kingdom's Those worst pepperoni pizza. You know what it is? Yeah, I'm in Chris's tent because my airbed's fully been deflated. It's got a slow ass puncture. Now, Chris has got a full on plump ass airbed in here. And you know what? I'm gonna fucking fall asleep in that shit. And Chris is gonna come and he's gonna open the tent and I'm gonna say to him, look, Lid, I got a tent for you right next door. Have a good one. Appreciate it, bro. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, we're all here to have a good time. Oh, we've been loud. Hell? Are we being loud? Yeah, no, we're all here to have a good time. Just calm down. We can hear you from there. Heard every word. Calm down, yeah. There's no need to drive. Today's the day that we've all waited for for three years. Day of the best band in the world. Play Headline Best Festival in the world. Started dressed on Sunday, I think. Started dressed Wish. Last night were good, wasn't it? Yep. Yep, enjoyed it. Yep. Very good, very nice. Fuck very no tired. microphone, eh? We overcome the new no microphone thing like Bud it light, was. Bud Light, you tell? Yeah, you have one. I'll have one. Yeah, yeah Bud, Bud Light. Oh, I threw up just drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> the world's best crisps. Oh, These are literally the best they are crisps lovely. in the world. And there's a co-op on site. What are those crisps saying? Barley sold us out last night. We were all, we were all, sat, around, all sat around eating crisps and he was trying to eat tuppence instead. The Barocca is a lifesaver, mate. Would you find? Or a put light. He's themselves to... Chris comes at home to the camp to the most unwelcoming sight of Mary Kellis conked out in his in his bed in his tent and her burger and fries just all over the fucking tent. 
Oh, don't remember ordering a burger last night. <laughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. Oh, it's all phlegm goes straight down. <laughs> look at him trying to cover it up with me. I know, he won't put the camera there, will he? <laughs> what are we looking at? Look at your feet. If I wanted to look at my feet, I'd look at that piece of skin that your hand's touching currently. Oh. <laughs> so after that, Mary went back to her tent and her tent uh, got sick in one corner. It's got a, a bin bag full of sick in the other corner. It's got a deflated airbed that's got a puncture so it won't go back up. So she's like, Dan! Dan! So Dan clapped your sister last night, mate. <laughs> After Mary's come crawling out at tent, groveling, begging to be in tent with Big Daddy, uh, she jumps in, I become the little spoon, and she pushes me to one side at tent and takes up my entire bed. <laughs> As if you got dommed. <laughs> right then, gang, we're going for the first time into the arena. We're going to see, we've got a stacked day today of music, to be honest. We do? Loads of stuff going on. Excited. Yeah, I'm, man, I'm buzzing. This is one of the acts I'm actually buzzing to see this weekend. Me and me are going to be like Robert Rock in Rio, vibrating. <laughs> Chill out for 10 minutes. Jeez, I don't mess around with it. We do this as a laugh because you bunny the I don't value that in money because when you come in and do it, it is shit. So why would you ever come back? What is that? Sausage? That does not look like a sausage. That looks like something that's come out of my ass. That's why I turned vegan. All right, now we're off to see the bad boy chiller crew. Some local lads, and I think they're fucking sick, you know. That's not special. I was doing that last night at Piccadilly. You're never going to hear a song where the chorus has not to do with the verses as much as this song. Yeah. Not even bouncing yet. Yeah. The second time in my life I've ever seen a band get cut off. Imagine, imagine literally two minutes left at song. It's strict though, mate. That, they need to do that so the headliners do don't what? clash. Do you know what? If they didn't do that, people would be moaning about the headliners yeah, clashing when everyone's doing ten minutes left. Less than five more bad boy chiller crew. Quick food review for you, it's currently at half past four, all I've had today is some bran flakes with soy milk and it's safe to say I'm a little bit hungry, so I finally managed to get some food, gone to the filthy vegan, have a look at this kebab, it looks bloody delicious. I'm here with Dawson, he's a top lad, he's just giving me two for a good chew on some trident watermelon, thank you Dawson. Take your TPD. Guess what, what? Guess where I last saw these guys? You know what, for the life of me, I could have been swept. Could show up! You wanna hear a good joke? Nobody see, nobody get choked! I still remember it directly at the edge of a mass grave. That's in the sign. 
the two stages at Leeds is working really well today, but it's annoying because I'm fucking knackered and I have to keep walking between these two fucking stages and I'm tired and I'm drunk. Leeds Festival skittle bomb here, getting some chocolate. A line for the line. Doing a lot of work, mate. Once again reminded how fortunate I am and how how thrilled we are to be here. What a world. Seventeen, seventeen of the past twenty years I've been stood here with you guys. So this means ten and a ten story coming up, baby. We're fast clothes. Gonna get lit on one. Oh my guest got a big old boy, Oh, it's going south. I gotta go to Reading tomorrow morning. Let's do it.
recency bias might be playing a part here, but that was truly one of the most phenomenal. And oh, just that was so good, man. That had everything. I've never seen a 20 man squad dancing together since Muse for one song. And we had that throughout the whole night. That was insane. The 1975 Leeds Festival. Best shit ever, man. Best shit ever. That was so fucking wow. late, wasn't it? Incredible, man. Incredible. I tell you, I have seen some shows in my time. Raz, fancy seeing you here. What do you think of the 1975? That was very good. It was good, that wasn't it? Very good. Why did they end on that? I like that. I feel so lucky that I got to do that with Rob and Chris and Jake. Two things. First of all, we've timed this incredibly well because I'm going to show you some great news. This is on the official Reading and Leeds oh, Instagram. Yeah. One, yeah. two, one, two, three, four. You know what I thought? I really appreciate the security thing. But my God, this weekend I've been having to wait. This one luckily is only four minutes. A minute ago, it were one minute, but literally the other night it was 15 minutes, four, and then it went to 45 minutes. I appreciate you trying to look out for me, Steve, but this shit is not fucking reliable. I'm a clumsy ass bitch. I'm trying to type my passcode in, yeah, I might fumble it. But look at that shit, man. I'm trying to live, I'm trying to vibe. How am I gonna pay for drinks? How am I gonna do anything with a fucking unavailable on? You know what? The worst thing is, at least one person's gonna see that and not realize it's a joke. And what the worst thing ever would be, if that same person is the one person who came here and didn't know Rage Against the Machine cancelled, and they've had the worst day ever. Out of nowhere, this one I'm talking about, Steve. It's only going up. It's only going up. Look at this shit, we had a, commu we had a communal wee bucket, <laughs> toilet. <laughs> And then someone's catching it while we've all been out. And it's one. And then, so, and then someone, someone's put it over there. And then these lovely lads. I haven't done. I've just walked past. I've 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 walked past. i have I would just, I would just there, uh, just say my prayers, put my chastity belt back on, and she came on. She said, "Get the fuck out!" I was like, "Oh, please, <laughs> I'm innocent." <laughs> uh, I'm fucked. I'm absolutely off my head. <laughs> I, I thought you were coming back in with a few bits of me and Dan. California's where we feed simultaneous. Man, that's no USB ports, man. He's got no well, that backfired, didn't it? Big time. <laughs> big, <laughs> big time. <laughs> he didn't even oh, she's not having that yet. He didn't even have USB. <laughs> How do you move your seat forward? Is there a background that I'll have to do it? There is, isn't there? <laughs> Oh, is a bar oh, There's man. some what? fucking shit what? craps what? under here. Look at these. <laughs> ben Phillips phone. He wants his shoes back. <laughs> Bit CD player. Of course, I don't have a CD player. Why not? Don't need one, mate. Who uses CDs now? Apart from people trying to trap kids. <laughs> 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 What's in your CD player? Let's have a look, lad. Show us what's in there. Oh, I'm not putting my keys in that ignition. <laughs> for that. Look like this, mate. She's does she a, know you? Have you abducted this young does, lady? Does, does she need help? She can't believe she's sat in back at Astrid. Does she? <laughs> <laughs>
Driver. What, what can I say to that? Driver. He's, he's right, technically. Everything he says. Look how low quality the steering wheel is. <laughs> so, listen to me. Senorita, would you like to dance? <laughs> Could have at least bought me a drink for that. <laughs> oh, there's a moth in here! There's a moth! No, no, no. <laughs> so you let yeah, me man. have a fucking yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've never had a night out in the guest area of Leeds. But it's fucking amazing. We've had a riot. Um, but unfortunately, like, the plane's some 41, so we've got to leave. So good. What are you doing? Why are you climbing into Chris's tent? I'm trying to get some hand. Why, 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 why did we just catch you going in his tent? Oh, you up. Don't fuck with me. Wait. You up and that's it. We just caught you trying to get into Chris's you, tent. You asking me for hand warmers? <laughs> <laughs> How did I know? How did I know that happened? What are you doing coming out of his tent? <laughs> what have you been doing in Chris's tent there, Mary? You've been caught in there. Good news, everyone. You have to see Rob's massive nose, Chris's long ass neck, or Razzie's teeth for the next day because they fucked off to Reddit. And I was so happy this morning when they left at like eight because that meant I got to come and steal Dan's nice air bed and get comfy because mine's now fully deflated and my bones hurt. So thanks Dan and I promise I won't leave any burger and chips on the floor. What's going on then guys? All time line. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're all clearly all buzzing all about time. it. Oh. oh dear. Don't want to get cancelled. <laughs> Can I get two? Things you don't want. And um, so obviously the boys are at Reading and we're trying to think of something that we can do to film. Um, so we've put a little story on saying the boys are at Reading, ask us some shit. So we're just going to wait for the questions to dribble in. Um, terrible effort so far. Sell it called Rangers, none of us care. <laughs> Rachel's got um, a story about her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. So they're not great. I know that. Me and Ryan went to Frankie and Benny's, lovely meal. The waiter sits down next to us and says, where did you get your fake fangs from? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> That's oh, so fucking rude! Him. Dead in the eye like, mate, I grew myself. He could have got sacked from that. Literally, just walked up to me like, like That's the true. worst it customer came back service. And he was like, I meant it as a compliment, because like, people pay to have them, and I was like... Mm. <laughs> a question, a really important question, which I think about a lot. Why are Rob's toes so fucked? Why? Everybody give your answers. Everybody give your answers. I just couldn't tell you. What, what, age, what age did Rash come? Oh, the, 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 the rash. boat rash. Oh, oh, when did that? I don't know. I can't spend about. a lot of time looking at Rob's <laughs> ass. So you might be better at answering that one. Oh, no, I feel like that was a long standing issue before. And like, what day did he come off of it? Like, Mum, I've got a rash on my bum. Mum, we're just That's at the festival. Surprise. Yeah, we've, we're just at the festival now, and we've got a question for you for the for the video. Oh, okay, come on, man. So, best. You know Rob, um, obviously, because he's just <laughs> yeah. but um, he's got this rash on his bum, and yeah. we're just wondering. Yeah, is this a long-standing issue? Did he ever come to you about this? Um, right, okay, I'll come straight to the point. Did it work? Uh, Which one was it? Uh, 
I don't think it did. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't, to be honest. At the time, but this is a lot, this is a few years ago now. <laughs> you know, so it used to have this dotage, I think they call it. <laughs> What? Jacket. Jacket, yeah. yeah. Oh. Of no, so I like man in the <laughs> So I think that's what Robert had because my my teacher was telling me, believe it or not, that he had it. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. He'll be editing this video anyway, Mum. Um, the boys are at Reading, so we're, we're making some content and we're asking the, the fans have asked some questions that we're answering, and one of them's about Rob's rash. So. <laughs> All right, Rob. All right. Okay, love, you, love you too. Bye. Love you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I let that look great. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> How was Meg? She is a queen. Oh, Megan, did you throw enough ass? I threw too much. I'm exhausted, man. Ass flying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but she's Still. such a queen, man. She's man. such an inspiration for all of that. Them girls have got on stage, man. I know. Like Megan said, uh, <laughs> take from those men. 4840. Yeah, I'm in a bed. Wait, what was it? XXXL extra hot, extremely flame. I'd like to meet a braver man than one of these that stands on the walls and spins them around. Are you not worried about your legs getting cut off? <laughs> You all right, honey? Oh, shut the <laughs> So the business cards just declined again because Metro Bank are the shittest bank in the world. And we have ordered some Bacardi. Well, we ordered Spice Room and Coke. Not thinking we'd get a shit pan that cost a quid in Sainsbury's. This is gas. How much are these? Like seven quid each? Oh, man. They're cunts, man. They know what they're doing, man. We've come here because the music is better than Piccadilly. The only good music we can find about here is outside, right? Feels like when you're walking through town in the middle of the night and there's a bus around the night. A few years ago, don't quote me on that, I might be trying. But they introduced something else other than just Relentless and Piccadilly. Yeah. And I believe we've stumbled upon it over there. It might be a fever dream, but we're gonna go toward the light just like the wise men, is it? Like the wise men, they went towards the no, that's when Bethlehem, you die. Bethlehem, innit? That's when you No, but that's when you die is when you go towards the light. Yeah, Bethlehem. To cut a long story short, relentless is shit unless you're mashed. Folks, we're back here at Leeds and we're running on empty, but we've got the Arctic Monkeys and Bring Me The Horizon today. This is pretty good. Main arena, standard, not guest or anything. Two full toilet rolls and a nice clean toilet. Are you ready? Get to bed. That was a rough one. It's purely just based on exhaustion as well. Oh, my body needs a break. Thankfully, it's gonna get one very soon. 
back in the day, every Sunday, as a family, we used to sit down and have a Sunday dinner. And this isn't quite the same, but it's like a hot meal with some gravy and some mint sauce, which I always used to have. Oh my God, what's going on here? Anyway, basically uh, what I mean is I'm really looking forward to this party. That's so nice. And that's not a guest bit. Anyone can get in there. It's called the, what's it called? The street kitchen Yellow or something? something. Side at main stage, absolutely beautiful. 10 out of 10. I agree, right. but I'm fuck off, I, I want to hear you play a song. This song's called Arguing okay. with Thermometers. Yeah, we want to hear a song, but maybe not this song. I don't know what the song is. It's busy tonight, isn't it? Do you know what? This is really busy. Well, 12, fe well, 12 festival, I think it is. And guess what? I'm fucked. I'm royally, troyally, royally fucked. That's all I've really got to say. Just cheer up, mate. What was the problem? I'm just tired. You're a Leeds festival, man. Have a good time. I am having a good time. I'll tell you what. Your face. My face is a bit... Are you fucking moaning again? All you do is complain. Yes. Everyone, Everyone, tell him to e shut the every, fuck up. Every time, every time Jake Valley gets on camera, all he's doing is complaining. Imagine coming to a festival, yeah? Right, hold on. Let me get me in that mindset. Yeah, I'm there. I'm yeah. There. Now imagine... Yeah. You're so overprotective of your shoes that you have to put condoms on them. <laughs> What's going on here, man? Look at this. Look at this. Well, who, who's the real for, for, for a second, for a second, yeah. Clean them. Clean them for me. Cheers. For a second, this man last on Thursday night was like, hey, man, just take them off, man. They'll be fine. We'll get no dirt on them. So, as you can see, they did get a bit mucky. And I don't want to end up with clapped out shoes like you. What are these? They're fucking, look at the tongues on these, man. Look at the loose. Stop drawing what's attention. Going, what's going my, on? Stop drawing attention to my redding socks, all right? I'm going to get kicked out of here yeah. if people see the redding. Mate, they look dead on those shoes, let me yeah. tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be a little Uzi bird. So the Leeds Fest lineup is completely stacked this year. And that includes the secret sets. And one of the secret sets is Pendulum, which is one of the bands I saw in 2010, one of my first years here. And me and Ben Phillips stood a thousand miles away from the stage. We're at the enemy tent where Pendulum are playing. There's fucking loads of people. Ben's here. According to Ben's phone, they're on in one minute. And I look forward to doing the same thing with the same idiot tonight. This is just the perfect thing before like bring me an Arctic Monkeys just to really boost the mood. A perfect differentiator from last night. Ready for some EDM? You know what? I love EDM. <laughs> We are walking away from Pendulum doing a secret set at that big ass stage over there. It's fucking tragic. That was fucking brilliant. But we need to see Bring Me the Horizon again. Yeah, I suppose. I tell you, it is awful coming to a festival with lots of people because you just cannot. It is good. But you can't even walk 100 yards without losing half of your crew. It's so annoying. Can you feel my heart? <laughs>
Right, let's go to the Arctic Monkeys this evening. Let's go to the Arctic You're excited about the Arctic Monkeys? Oh, I'm ready for the Arctic Monkeys. Second night in a row. Let's go! You know what? Controversial. Young blood were better than Ed Sheeran. Ready for the Arctic Monkeys this evening? Of course evening. we are, boys. We've got the uh, room service for everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, yeah. and good morning is what you meant to say, you fucking idiots. Intro to the podcast. Good afternoon. Place. Hotel and casino. Well, there we go, that's it. That's another Leeds Festival completed. And we've heard there's a pretty cool after party going on in the guest bar. So we're just gonna lose our heads a bit and wallow in the gratefulness that we feel to fucking be here. The greatest festival in the world. Thanks so much for watching. Two shows a day, four nights a week. No, uh, it's, it's truly, um, It, it sounds dumb, but it's it's a it's bits of scaffolding. But it is so important to me. It's I've literally cut my teeth and and made everything I am. I've made everything. I've made everything that we like. The reason I exist today is because of that piece of hardware right there. Yeah. And we should not be walking past here without high vises on. Leeds Fest 2022. It's hard to believe I've been coming here now for 13 years. And it's hard to believe that in one way or another, this has always been the thing about Leeds Fest. Every year, Tops the last. And it's not to do with the lineup. Though the lineup has been very good this year. It's all to do with just I think it's like a I don't really know. Like I'm obviously hammered, so I don't pay too much mind to this. But I feel like there's something to like an evolving group of, of friends. And if you're coming here with your friends every year, each year you come here, you're gonna be better friends with each other. And I think that even goes for us who've been doing this now for almost as long as some of you have been alive. 
I think that's important because the first time I came to Leeds in 2009, I came here with my best friends. And now in 2020, 22, I'm here with some of those same best friends, watching some of those same bands, but it's a thousand percent better. And maybe part of that's to do that we're accredited and we've got guest list and uh, you all watch these videos. But I'd like to think that it's more to do with the natural, with the natural way that, that things go and that relationships form. Leeds Fest is the world's most relevant festival. And it's also a festival to experience with your best friends. And I will leave you on that note as I get back to guest camping where I'd rather not be. All I can say is thank you so much for supporting TPD TV, whether you're watching, whether you're clicking like, or whether anything else. I love you, and I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye. Is it Lord or Lordy? <laughs> L.M. Mastodon. Put it back on.